$1,000 budget shortfall, Governor Sonny Perdue has proposed eliminating state funding for school nurses. That has a lot of parents on edge. Several parents have accused the governor of breaking his promise by cutting the program he once deemed untouchable. Channel 2's Lori Geary has been researching this issue all day. She joins us live from the state capitol tonight with more. Lori? Amanda, I can tell you I've been getting a lot of calls and emails from angry and concerned parents. Many of them tell me they'll be down here at the capitol this session to try and convince lawmakers that school nurses are not a luxury, they're a necessity. Seven-year-old Samantha Muchaka is just like any typical seven-year-old. Her beautiful smile is missing two teeth. She has her favorite toys and loves jewelry. But that's no typical bracelet. For her, it could save her life. And it has my mom's and my dad's phone number. Muchaka has type 1 diabetes, so her school backpack not only has books, but also life-saving needles and insulin. She tells me she visits the school nurse at Cobb County's Kemp Elementary at least five times a day. When I'm low, I just go to the six times. And the nurse has to make sure that her blood sugars are in normal range. Muchaka's parents learned last week that Governor Sonny Perdue has cut out the $30 million in state funding for school nurses. Now they say they're in a panic. Our teachers are supposed to take care of them? The very first thing I thought of was my daughter can't go to school. Sonny Perdue, back in 2004, declared that, that money was untouchable. Indeed, I checked, and in this 2004 announcement, Purdue, along with state school superintendent Kathy Cox, deemed the $30 million untouchable. But today, Purdue's office told me, quote, we have proposed cuts of 10% and more to many state agencies while only recommending reductions of 2% this year and 3% next year for education. Local school systems would still be able to fund the school nurse program if they deem it a priority. I don't know what my options are at this point, and, and uh, you know, I probably have six months to try and figure out something if, if our nurse is gone. The governor's office also tells me that in these tight budget times, he's tried to keep as much money as he could in the classrooms. But now, it will be up to the state house and senate to see if the money for school nurses stays or goes. Reporting live from the state capitol, Lori Geary, Channel 2.